This is a video to give you an overview of a typical MRMC motion control system and also to give you an idea of how moves are created using flare to control the camera robotics. Here I have the bolt on track. The bolt and our Milo motion control rigs together are the most widely used rigs you'll find in studios and on location around the world. The bolt is connected up to our latest operating software, Flare 7. The bolt has the axes of track, forwards and backwards. I can also rotate left and right around the object. Up and down. And also towards and away from the object. And of course I can pan and tilt and roll as well if I wanted to. Um, and I have full control of the lens, such as focus, the zoom and the iris. Everything on the bolt is controlled and powered through this single umbilical, which has power, network and video to control everything on the rig and camera, so cabling is very, very simple. Additionally, I might have model movers for controlling the object being filmed. Anything from a small turntable up to a six degree of freedom motion base carrying an entire set or special effects, which I can control and program too. Moves are entered simply by moving to the position you want the camera, storing that position, and then moving to your next keyframe. Storing that, and then the software creates a smooth curve between the keyframes. Flare allows the user to put the camera in positions and the software will control all of the axes of the robot to place the camera exactly where you want it, meaning you don't have to concern yourself with what each axis of motion is doing. You put the camera where you want it and the software works out the most efficient way to manipulate the arm to get it there. Here's a simple three-point move. I'm going to enter a new one just to show you how it's done. I will input the move using Mark Roberts' handheld box, which is supplied with all of our larger camera robotics. Some people have asked us, why not use a gaming controller? In fact, Flare will operate with any game controller and many other input devices, such as Space Mice and even VR headsets. And of course, we could use standard game controllers. However, we manufacture our own hand controller that provides all of the buttons needed to create moves and run them. Also, safety is of paramount importance, especially when using high-speed robotics. So our handle box is fitted with a dead man safety switch and an emergency stop. So I'm gonna to move to my first position to store my move. So I'm gonna start, let's say, about there, store that, then add a line, and then move it to another position. So let's rotate it around a bit, uh, around there, move it up slightly. Let's say I want that as my next position, store that. And then add a line, and then move it back in again, and store that. Very simple three-point move, and I'm now gonna run it. Go back to the beginning. Okay, now I'm at the beginning and now I just press shoot and it runs the move. Notice that as I move towards and away from the target, the focus is automatically adjusting. And also that as I move the camera, it automatically adjusts all the axes to keep looking at the object. This is part of what we call target tracking, a function that was developed by MRMC in the 1980s and continues today to be a powerful tool to quickly set up and get your shot with precision control of the lens. So I'm gonna run that three point move that I've created Okay, go to the start and then shoot. And you can see here, these are my three key frames that I've created. Uh, here are the graphs of all the axes of motion with my three key frames. And these are my numerical three key frames. Uh, if I am happy with the move, okay, I like what it's doing, I don't need to edit it. I can also increase the speed. So let's say I want to run it faster, let's say at twice the speed. I just change my frames per second here. Run the move, goes to the start. And this is now running at twice the speed we were running before. Okay, that's the simplicity of entering a three-point move. I have facilities for importing or exporting moves to other systems uh, such as 3D graphics. So actually here I have 
the Bolt logo that's been imported as an FBX file, and I can make the rig basically run that move very easily. It's a simulation of it. Of course, I can also use Flare to trigger events, uh, start lights, start fireworks. Uh, you can trigger all kinds of different things. Um, Flare, in fact, can control up to 512 axes of motion. So it's a very powerful piece of software that's been developed.